Shalom. So the theme of today, the message of today is to how to overcome the spirit of hatred. And I will give three points how to overcome the spirit of hatred. Point number one is love. Because remember the scripture says that in the book of 1 John chapter 4 verse 8, it says that whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Now when you love one another, you will remove the spirit of hatred in you because the spirit of hatred is not coming from God but is coming from the evil one. The evil one. So, in order to need to remove the spirit of hatred in you, it is true love. Love one another. Point number two. How to remove the spirit of hatred in you? Point number two is through praying for one another. Praying for one another. When you pray for your enemy, it means you will not hate your enemy. Instead, you will love him. Because of what? Because love is most important. And you pray, when you pray for that person, that is the evidence that you love that person. So when you pray for your enemies, you pray for your colleague, that is the action that means that you love your enemy. You love your enemy through prayer. You will pray for him in any circumstance. You will don't want anything to harm your colleague. So when you have, when you love, you will not harm your neighbor. Point number three: by walking with the Holy Spirit. When you walk in spirit, you will remove the spirit of hatred because of what. The spirit of the Lord does not give you the spirit of hatred. Instead, it gives you power, love, and self-control because it does not give you fear. Remember, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the scripture says that the spirit of the Lord does not give you fear. Instead, it gives you love, power, and self-control. So, when you, when you have the spirit of the Lord, you will not live according to your human nature. You will live according to the Holy Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord will lead you not into temptation. So those are three points. So give bless and give bless. Let me meet another day. When you have anything, any problem you have, let me know because I will pray for you. God is there. Allah was sitting in Uncola Momasia, Kiama, Ebrina Castaleco, Riva, Bria Sakatata. Anyone who is sick there, believe if you are feeling headache, if you are feeling, if you cannot walk, if you, if you cannot hear, if you cannot see, believe, stand there, touch your eyes. Touch your mouth, touch your ears. I'm going to pray for you and you get and you get well. God re redeem, redeem those people, open, free. I am sending your healing. Let those people who cannot talk, let them talk. Open the mouth of people who cannot talk. Open the legs of people who cannot walk. Open the ears of people who cannot hear. Heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. In all sinning, you are healed, you are healed, you are healed. Jesus Christ has healed you. So be blessed, be blessed, and may the Lord help, help you. Let me next time. Be blessed.